Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the Do I Have That Book book tag recommended by Flipping Through the Pages, who is Tanika, and whom of which I'm also going to tag for this. So stay tuned as I prepare to do this 20 question book tag. So the first question is, do you have a book with deckled edges? Do I have a book with deckled edges? If you don't know me, <laughs> I buy books for how they look. Which means I have shitloads of deckled edged pages. Deckle edge. Deckled edged books. I kind of just like realized when I said deckled edge pages, my first thought was like these ones that have like the like edges that are like cut differently. Which like the closest one to me was one of the books in a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. But if you're also after one that's like coloured pages, coloured deckled pages, I. I don't know. Then yeah, I have a shitload of those too. And once again, just picking the closest one to me, we have got one of the Harry Potter Slytherin editions. Which is sexy as hell. Question number two is, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Good question. So the one that I have is Home Time by Campbell White. This is a bit more of like a graphic novel comic kind of thing, but it's a really, really cool story. It is so unique and interesting and you kind of have no idea where each page is going to take you, but it's really good and the art's really good in it and I will definitely be reading more by Campbell White. So question number three is, do you have a book based on another fictional story? Does that mean that I can do a carne since it's pretty much based on Harry Potter? Not even the first one in the series, but the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Each of them are set on different fairy tales. So Cinder's based on Cinderella, Scarlet Red Riding Hood, Winter, which is Snow White, and the other one, which is Cress, and that one is Rapunzel. An amazing series, by the way. If you haven't read it, do it. Do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? I got 11, Wonder Smith by Jessica Townsend. Which, can we talk about this for a second? Because these are stunning hardcovers. Because then they have these pages and everything. Like, the actual outside cover's cool, but like, this is cool. Question number five is, do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? The Hobbit. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, which is another book that's really good, <laughs> if you've heard of it. I fucking love this edition as well. Stunning. Number six is, do you... <sighs> Do you have a mass market paperback book? And I do. I think I've actually got quite a few of them. But there is one that I'm thinking of in particular that is... Uh, I think this is like a mass market one. I'm guessing because usually it's like the size you go off. Um, this one which is Tricks by Alan Hopkins. Um, someone recommended me this book years and years ago and it was so good. Like I wouldn't have picked it up on my own until someone like told me to read it, but yeah, really good. If you're after something that's really unique and different, then definitely look at this one. Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? I do, because technically I own some of J.K. Rowling's um, crime books. So we've got The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galthbrandt. Haven't read it. Do you have a book with two maps in it? Oh, what book is it? What book is it? What book is it? Uh, Reprint the Gates by Sabata here. You have one map which is the Black Cliff Academy, and then you have one that is like the actual countries. So, boom, two maps. Do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Um, quite a few of them actually. Tomorrow When the War Began by John Marston. They did a wicked TV show of this one. Um, it was an Australian production and it was like a small um, cast that they did a thing. I think it was for like ABC and it turned out to be really really good and I don't know if they're doing a second series or not. I should probably look that up after this but if you guys get the chance or if it's still online somewhere definitely take a look at it. Do you have a book written by someone who was originally famous for something else e.g. celebrity, athlete, politician slash TV personality. I don't know if it really counts, I've let the book out, but there is an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green. So I obviously know Hank Green, he's a YouTube personality, um, he's, he's the brother of John Green. I should have probably led with that one. And so I kind of heard of him as like a person before I heard of him as an author. I didn't even know his book was coming out, so let's do that one. And by the way, that's a fucking top book. I would like to apologise on behalf of my filming self for doing this all the time. So the next one that we have is, do you have a book with a clock on the cover? I just instantly grabbed a clockwork book by Cassandra Clare and there isn't a clock on it. I've got The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern and believe me, there is a little clock on there. 
Now I knew this one had a clock on it because I effing love this book so much. It is so good and I'm so excited for her next book to come out soon. Do you have a poetry book? Yes, I do. I actually have lent those ones out as well. But I've got like uh, Milk and Honey, I've got The Princess Saves Herself in this one, and quite a few others too. Do you have a book with an award stamp on it? I need to find a book with a sticker on it. Oh. Okay, you don't have to help me. Oh, you're just gonna sit there though. <sighs> that has been the hardest one to find so far, but I found one and that is Girls Like Us by Gail Giles or Gail Giles and they have the Schneider Family Book Award. Now, I actually haven't read this book yet, but I need to. I got it from Boffins and they always give me some of the best recommendations, so I'm sure I'll get around to that soon. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? Now, I can do this either way because you guys know me as Tilly, but that is actually only a nickname of mine, so I can either go by TB or CB, so <laughs> let's hope this is an easy one. No. No, there is not. Do you have a book of short stories? And I do. I do have that. This is also totally irrelevant. Does anyone watch that Netflix show Love, Death and Robots on Netflix? Because it's amazing. So you should watch that if you like short stories. So for my short story one, I've got quite a few books, but I've chosen Star Wars from a certain point of view. So this is 40 different stories um, from obviously like the Star Wars universe over the last 40 years. So it's a pretty good short story book. <laughs> Oh shit, I clicked off what I was supposed to be on. Where is it? Do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages long? Yes, yes I do. And I just realized, does it mean 500 to 510 pages? Oh, it does. I immediately thought it just meant a book that's over 500 pages and I was like, yeah. But one that's between 500 and 510. Fuck. 467. 513. Are you kidding me? Found one, boys. Uh, we have got The Darkest Minds of Never Fade, which is the second one in the series by Alexander Bracken. And this bad boy is 507 pages. Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? I have so many. Looking at my shelves right now, what have we got? We've got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We have got the Hunger Games. We have also got It's Kind of a Funny Story. We have got The Rise of Nine by Pitticus Law, although technically the first one was the movie. We have got Love Rosie. But I think that that helps you guys to get the point. I have a lot of them. Do you have a graphic novel? I have plenty of graphic novels. The only bad thing about this question is that I keep all my graphic novels down in a separate room or near the end of my house. Fuck, fine, I'll be right back. Okay, so the book that I grabbed was Lumberjanes. I really like this one, so I have quite a heap of um, graphic novels, but Lumberjanes is one of my favourite ones, so I'm picking that one. Question number 20, the final question on this book tag is, do you have a book written by two or more authors? This is an easy one for me. I don't currently have the newest one here, but Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, Australian authors, sci-fi writers, absolutely amazing. They own my soul in all their books. Um, one of the ones that we've got closest one to me. Gemini, this is the second one in the Illuminae Files. Um, but they wrote the Illuminae Files and they now also have Aurora Rising. And if you guys haven't read Aurora Rising, it has just recently been released and it is fucking amazing. I know that I've been trying not to swear in my videos, but it needs it. It needs that swear word. Anyway, that is that book tag done. So the first person I want to tag is Tanika from Flipping Through Pages. Why don't we be a little generous here and if Tanika hasn't filmed this video in a month, then we can go onto her Instagram account and just be like, hey, Tilly's cool. Yeah, let's just comment just that. You guys don't have to do it, but I will. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't really have anyone else I'm thinking of off the top of my head on who to tag. So if you guys want to do this book tag, please, I'm tagging you. My dog just fell off the couch behind you. Thank you to everyone who sent in recommendations for book videos for me to film. I really appreciate it. And if you guys have any more, please let me know. I'm probably most active on my uh, Instagram account, but I'll leave all my social media down below so you guys can check it out and talk to me on there. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Now I'm going to do that dreadful task of putting away the stack of books that I've pulled out. And I can tell you now, doing this in like colour coordination is even worse 
than when they were just by author's last name. But fuck it, I love it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys again soon. Um, yeah.